After being away from his parish since October, Father Michael Flager returned during Saturday night mass with parishioners sharing tears of joy. God is faithful, no matter how bad things look, how impossible things look, God is faithful. In October, Father Flager was forced to step away from St. Sabina while the Archdiocese Independent Review Board investigated an allegation of child sexual abuse against Flager. A man in his late 40s accused Flager of abusing him in the church rectory during the 1980s. On Saturday, Cardinal Blaise Supich released a statement in part saying, the review board has concluded that there is no reason to suspect Father Flager is guilty of these allegations. I think it's extremely important to consider all of the evidence taken together, not just my current client. Attorney Eugene Hollander represents Father Flager's most recent accuser and two brothers who made similar accusations against Flager in 2021. He says he'd like more information on how the archdiocese made their decision. All we know is that it's unfounded. We don't know why it's unfounded. Back at St. Sabina, parishioner Joan Brown says prayers have been answered. I felt it was going to be the same result as soon as they announced that it had happened again. With word of Father Flager's return, Gladys Miller says she expects a full house inside of St. Sabina's sanctuary on Sunday morning. I got to get here early to get a seat. <laughs> It'll be crowded. People will be joyous and happy. During his remarks, Father Flager thanked his parishioners for their prayers, support, and for believing in him. I love you, St. Sabina. Ain't no place in the world like St. Sabina Church. Father Flager has denied all sexual abuse allegations against him. He has been pastor at St. Sabina since 1981. He is expected to lead tomorrow morning's mass.